welcome back. It's a beautiful day to be alive. A little festival tea. How cute is she? The day has finally come, okay? And I say finally because I said last, what, November? If you want to see this video, let me know. And then everyone said, yes, please. And here we are in April. Sorry about that. <laughs> Listen, the wait was worth it because I take so much pride in taking care of my gym clothes. If you spend your hard-earned cash money, honey, on anything, you should be taking care of it, and that includes your gym clothes. I'm so particular and so picky on how I wash my gym clothes, how I take care of them to make sure they're going to last a lifetime. Gym clothes can be ruined in an instant with one bad wash, you're using the wrong temperature of water, you're putting them in the dryer. Heck to the absolutely no, homegirl. We do not put our gym clothes in the dryer. So I'm going to give you every single tip and trick I know about washing your gym clothes, washing your dirty as heck and bob white shoes. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and never forget to Subscribe so you never miss a fit tip with wit again. Without further ado, let's jump into this video. I have a surprise in my lap. Are you ready? It's a surprise. Hello. That's the best kind of surprise you could get. Neighboru, you're my dude, and I love you. My neighbor room. That's just one of 20 songs that Navy has. Now when it comes to washing your gym clothes, it is so important to first of all, separate the clothes out and make sure that they are turned inside out. Now the reason I wash my workout clothes inside out is so that all the fabrics that are going to be rubbing against each other in the washing machine are just the insides of the fabric. So the outside looks fresh. And then I will separate them out by whites, colors, and blacks. If I have a huge pile of colors and I need to wash them separately because there's too much, then that's when I'll do the colors from the blacks. But listen, I'm trying to save water and electricity, okay? Your girl has bills to pay. If I have something super strappy like this, then I'll go ahead and either place this into a garment bag or I'll kind of tie it all together. Today I'm gonna to place it into a garment bag just so that all of these loose pieces don't get wrapped around all of your workout clothes in the washer. Like, it's a hot mess. Everything needs to be flipped inside out. When it comes to the sports bras, you can definitely take out the bra inserts, but I'll be honest, I just leave them in. That's a whole lot of work for me, you know what I'm saying? If you want to take out the bra inserts of your bra, because sometimes when you wash them, they can fold in half, it really doesn't bug me. But if you want to take the bras to inserts out, I definitely suggest also putting them into a garment bag like this where you put all your stringy items. This one is from Cleo Harper, it's huge, I really like it. This is also what I put all my socks and underwear in when I wash those with my normal clothes. Once your clothes are separated out, you're ready to get to washing. We have some very key ingredients to make sure that your clothes are taken care of in the washing machine. The clothing demolisher, if not used properly. Honestly, does this ever end? It's like the never ending laundry basket. <laughs> I saved up all my clothes so I could film this video. <laughs> all right, so here we have my dark neutrals. This is like black and grays. And then I have all my bright colors here, including the sports bra and the garment bag. And then my whites over here, hardly anything. So I might actually just wait another week until I have more whites to add to this. For about two years now, I have been using this brand from Hex. It is made specifically for workout clothes. This is not sponsored. I purchased this myself. I purchased this myself. This is detergent that I love and I really trust with my workout clothes. It is Performance Hex Anti-Stink Detergent Fresh Clean Scent. It destroys bacterial stink, which I feel like is very important for clothes that you are sweating in every single day. This bottle right here has 32 loads. I also picked up this one recently, which I have used before. It is the Advanced Laundry Detergent free plus clear this is dermatologist tested and non-allergenic so if you have very sensitive skin and if detergents tend to irritate your skin then definitely go for something like this it's the exact same brand just a little bit of a different version I really trust my activewear with this detergent I saved this just for my workout clothes so I use another detergent for my normal everyday clothes but this is specific for my workout clothes nothing is worse than when you wash your workout clothes and you can still tell that mm, you, you drenched your whole head to toe body and sweat in these workout clothes <laughs> so that's another reason I really like this is it really does help with the stink of clothes and it takes really good care of those unique fabrics that are in 
workout clothing. Now, I always wash all my workout clothes on delicate. I really wanna make sure that the washing machine is taking care of those delicate fabrics. I also make sure that I'm using tap cold water. Not cold, not warm, not more mildish warm, freezing cold tap water. A lot of workout clothes have a lot of elastane in it. That's what gives it that really bomb stretch that you get that you can eat all. Pull up that butt crack, make your butt look juicy. So those materials can get fried with hot water and in the dryer. That is why I do not dry my clothes. So I like to do a little bit of a smaller load. Always wash on delicate if your washer has it. My previous washer did not and my clothes were still fine. So don't even fret girl if you don't got delicate. I also do not use a fabric softener. Trust the quality of the fabric. Trust the money that you are spending on your workout clothes. Don't add a fabric softener. That's going to start softening those delicate materials. All I use is detergent. Skip the fabric softener. Fabric softener on towels? Absolutely. Blankets? Absolutely. Workout clothes? Absolutely not. Now when it comes to drying, once again, please, for the love of all things holy, please do not put your workout clothes in the dryer. Those fabrics, those materials, they're gonna get fried, they're gonna get warped, they're gonna get not good, okay? When I used to put my clothes in the dryer, I saw a huge change in my workout clothes when I would dry them. The material and the fit of them just does not stay the same, so avoid the dryer entirely. I don't put a lot of my clothes in the dryer. My dryer is hardly used. You could definitely get yourself a drying rack, but why buy a drying rack when you can just hang your clothes all over the flipping house? You can lay your clothes to dry on a banister. Over the door works marvelous. Maybe on a plant, maybe on a dog. Look, she's a walking dryer. Dining chairs are another great option, and maybe even a dining stool, even the refrigerator, you know? Keep me out of there today, ma'am. Your whole house can just become a drying rack, honestly. <laughs> when laying your clothes flat to dry, make sure they're not hanging around too much. You still, once again, want them to keep its form. So I try to lay them as flat as possible, but you know, I got like a banister I can just hang 80 clothes on, so a lot of them hang and they end up perfectly fine. Once they've completely air dried, I usually just let them dry overnight and then the next day, that's when I'll put them away. I store all of my sports bras completely flat. I fold up all of my leggings and I store them sideways so that you have a really good look at your leggings. And then I hang up every single long sleeve crop top. Don't use velvet hangers. I know we love velvet hangers, okay? But we don't use them on long sleeve crop top. When something has a really small neck and it's also a very tight fabric, listen, trying to put a velvet hanger on one of those, it's not okay. It's too difficult, okay? Now let's talk about something that I love to do, which is wash my shoes. These shoes are absolutely filthy right now. They're hardly white anymore, they're gray. Here's a good before shot of pretty much how filthy these shoes are. A lot of my self-tanner builds up on the insides here, and then just some normal daily wear on the outsides. Washing shoes has always seemed very uh, terrifying to me. I never want to ruin these shoes, especially because shoes are not cheap. You gotta take care of these bad boys, you know what I'm saying? For the past, what, almost a year, all I've been wearing is white shoes. I just really love the pop of a white shoe. But the issue with white shoes is they obviously do get filthy very quickly. People ask me how I keep my shoes so white. Um, for the most part, I only wear my shoes to the gym, which also does help. And most importantly, this bad boy. OxyClean White Resolve. Laundry whitener and stain remover. This is whitening magic. The only thing this couldn't whiten was my comforter that was white and my dog's ruined. But everything else, it kills it. So this is how I wash my white Converse and also of course my white Nikes that I love. Now you can definitely pull out the laces if you would like. I don't. I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> I'm not much of a lazy person. I feel like I'm very proactive throughout the day. I feel like I'm a busy bee. I'm always doing a million and 10 things. But the thought of undoing and redoing my laces every single time I wash them, that's just too much for me. So all I do is tie them up. You'll notice if you tie them up, there will definitely be some spots of the laces that don't get perfectly white, but like better than nothing, am I wrong? So I'll tie my laces up, and what you'll wanna do with shoes is you want to wash them with pretty rough materials that if shoes are, you know, rolling around on the washing machine like this, 
they're not gonna like fight with the other clothes in there. They're gonna be tough clothes that can hang with the shoes in the washing machine. Okay, so in here I have my shoes, which look even more dirty in here. I have a bath mat and then some of my Karaloha towels in here, which actually can only be washed on cold. I'm gonna be soaking this in cold water, washing it on cold to protect my Karaloha stuff. I like to add one scoop of the OxyClean. So not only do you add normal detergent, you also want to add one scoop of OxyClean. Now I always like to add a quick soak session before they actually wash the clothes so that this OxyClean really soaks into all of the bath mats and the towels and especially my shoes. So if you have the option to soak these in your washer prior, definitely do it. Okay, so I like to wash a lot of my towels, bath mat shoes more on a heavy duty cycle. If you're too scared to do the heavy duty, definitely do a delicate again or a normal. Moving the temperature to tap cold. You can definitely do a semi warm or a warm, but some of the items I have have to be on cold. I like to do a low spin to protect the shoes and the shoelaces, especially if you left them on. And then soil, I'm just gonna do normal. No fabric softener here. Special care, I'm going to do a soak. So I want that OxyClean to really soak into the shoes and the white towels, bath mats, etc. And then we can go ahead and start it. I've talked about a shoe cleaner here on my channel before. I, it was like forever and ever and ago. I just found that this is easier and quicker and it gets the job done when you have white shoes. I still use that shoe cleaner for my colored shoes, but I'm not really wearing those much right now, I'll be honest. So after I washed these yesterday, I just let them dry overnight. They look pretty dang good. There's like a few spots I could go in and do myself, but for the most part, crystal clear. Now let's talk about pilling. Pilling is when your leggings rub together and they start getting those balls on them. That is why I suggest you wash your clothes inside out so that the inside of your fabrics are staying together while the outsides are the one that are like fighting in the washing machine, you know what I'm saying, girl? Now, the leggings that pill the absolute worst for me are Lululemon Aligns, but I have I've discovered something magical to really just fix that issue. I love the black and lines. You can wear them out and about. I heard, I don't even wear them to the gym. They're more like my out and about athleisure leggings. Those bad boys peel so quickly and they always have like white stuck all over them. So this guy has completely saved my life. This removes fuzz, lint, and pilling. This one's from Connor. It's a fabric shaver and it is the best $10, $12. It's between like 10 and 15 dollars fabric shaver I've ever found in my entire life okay I don't know what took me so long to discover this but I regret not discovering it sooner <laughs> so this has an adjustable head on it so you can get it as close and as far away from a fabric as you want once again you want to be super careful with those delicate fabrics so usually I'll keep it a little bit further but if I have a pesky pair of aligns girl I just take the whole thing off and I'm just shaving straight on it Love it. <laughs> I got lint rollers on deck in this house, okay? When I put on my black leggings, there's stuff all over them. So I always go in with a lint roller and then I will go in with a fabric shaver. I don't think that's the legitimate name, but I'll link it below for you. <laughs> it really takes care of those little tiny threads that sometimes can come loose in your leggings. You'll empty out the little container when you're done. Look, pull. all of that is from my black Lululemon Aligns. Just put it back in there. I don't think pilling's the biggest deal, but sometimes it gets really, really bad and something like this will come in handy. All right, you guys, that is every single tip and trick that I can think of when it comes to taking care of your precious workout clothes. I love you guys so much. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know what you wanna see next, girl. We love you. Thank you so much for being here. And until next time, we will see you next time. Also, I'll keep you updated on all the spring merch. We have a lot of it coming in right now. This one says it's a beautiful day to be alive. It's a little bit of a crop. I haven't done a crop in forever. Don't worry. I have non-crop things coming as well. I always keep you guys updated on that on my Instagram. I'm also posting two workouts a week over there. So if you miss my workouts here, girl, head over to the Instagram. I'm talking too fast, huh? All right. I love you guys so much. Until next time, we'll see you next time. I already said that. It's okay. Love ya. Thank you for being here. Subscribe. It's free. Give it a thumbs up. Love you. Okay.